Browser is a unique application. We typically think of it as a supervisory tool. It is a read-only application that allows users to see the current status of the system. Are events being processed in a timely fashion? Which operators are logged in processing the alarms? Is a particular panel having communication issues? All of these questions can be answered by looking at the different alarm queues that comprise Phoenix Browser. Let's begin by discussing each of the six queues that make up Browser. The first three queues gather information from the ABM event table. The second three queues reference the ABM signal table. The active event queue can be opened by clicking on the light blue exclamation mark. The Phoenix software considers an event that is open and actively being processed by an operator to be an active event. Each dispatch workstation can have only one active event at a time. Clicking the red check mark will open the pending event queue. There are three ways an event can be placed into the pending event queue. New events that are awaiting initial acknowledgement by an operator are originally placed into the pending event queue. Events that have been acknowledged by an operator can be returned to the pending event queue and assigned to a particular operator or assigned a new priority. Or events that were placed in wait by an operator return to the pending event queue when the wait time expires. There could be several events in the pending event queue at any given time. Phoenix determines which event will be processed next based on the event's priority. Higher priority, older signals are always presented first to the operator. The waiting event queue shows the events have been placed into wait by an operator for a specific number of minutes. No event can automatically be written to the waiting event queue. Everything must be placed in the queue by an operator. There can be several events in the waiting event queue at any given time. When the wait time expires, the event is automatically transferred back to the pending event queue. The maroon zigzag icon represents the event signal queue. While the event queues only show the primary, highest priority signal in the event, the event signal queue shows all of the signals that make up the event. Sort this queue by the event ID. And you may notice that a single event may be composed of multiple signals, all from the same transmitter. The waiting signal queue is used in conjunction with delay and restore wait records. Signals shown in this queue have not been received yet. Instead, the Phoenix system is waiting for the corrective or restoral signal to be received before deciding if further action is required by the operator. The icon with the three zigzags represents the history signal queue. By default, the last 100 signals received are displayed. This number can be increased by the system administrator. The newest signals enter at the top of the queue and scroll out at the bottom. Every communication from the panel, along with Phoenix generated signals, are displayed in this history signal queue. The stop refresh tool is used to pause the refreshing of the browser queues. Typically, the queues update themselves every 15 seconds if there is new signal activity. When you click the stop refresh icon, a message flashes in the right of the toolbar indicating that you are not receiving new signals. Click the Stop Refresh Again icon to update the queues. Within each queue, you can click on a column heading to sort by that column heading. Click the column heading again to sort in the opposite direction. Additionally, you have the ability to click and drag columns around to rearrange the page. However, when browser closes, the columns will go back to their default position. To permanently rearrange the column headings, contact ABM Technical Support. At the top of the screen, there are the traffic indicators, or buckets, as they are commonly referred to. There are eight pending, eight active, and one waiting bucket. The buckets provide a quick visual tool into the status of the system and whether or not alarms are being processed in a timely fashion. The bucket will change color depending on how many signals they contain. If the bucket is empty, it will be white. 
If the bucket contains one to three signals, it will be green. If it has four or five signals, it will be yellow, and six or more events in a particular bucket will color it red. From the browser screen, we cannot select an event to process or add comments to the event. It is simply just to show you the status of the system.